<laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are doing a draft league today. Um, hey, Nasser Father, welcome. Great plan, yeah, it's, it's a great plan. And everybody here on Twitch, say hello to your future YouTube self, since this that is where this will end up. Uh, this is pack one, pick one, and our last card is a mountain. Time for trophy? Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, not all of us can be like Marshall Sutcliffe and have like six trophies, all right? I only have like one. <laughs> Gets yourself to your homework. Who plays Magic to win? I guess it's true. I guess a lot of people don't actually play Magic to win, but we should try. Uh, we have Assembled Alphas, which I actually like a lot, and I think it's a very good card. And all the rest of the packs like this. Hey, Melas! Hey, Melas, for the five month resub. Thank you so much. And everybody, can we get some Viper Love in chat for our Melas' five month return? Thank you so much for the five months of continuous support. Woo! <laughs> Get better at draft links. All right, we're gonna take the assembled alphas. Thank you, wubba dubba dub dub. Um, wow, we could just draft like wolves. Uh, we could just draft like a wolf themed duck. We're drafting the hungry like a wolf duck. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it Brazen Wolves? I think it is. We could take, like... It's gotta be Brazen Wolves, right? If we want to stay on color and it's actually, like, a good card in our colors. Isn't Brazen Wolves just bust? It is very good. Alright, I'm gonna take it. Man, Man Lake is in, in for the Wolves. Wolf. Okay, we can take Eternal Scourge. Abandoned Reason. I think we just take the Scourge. It's fine. I mean, this is like looking like a beatdown duck, right? Attacking. Like 2 3. Brazen Wolves is like a great attacker. So. Scarecrow Dragon Drain. Close enough, I think. Yeah. <laughs> hey Rogue, I hope uh, you enjoy the new haircut or the new hair color. I've been I've been liking it a lot. I've been super happy with my decision. It's funny because when I was a kid, when I was a baby, I was blonde. I was just like straight up blonde, and as I got older, I became a brunette. And never like this dark. This is darker than my natural color, but I went from being blonde to. How is the band reason? It's like me. It's not great. It's not. Terrible. Lunar Force do it. Man, going am. I think we can just take Spreading Flames here. We're actually in like a nice, nice route to drop a red deck so far. You were bleach blonde as a kid, now you're dark brown. Yeah, dude. I'll show you guys a picture when I was like very small. I was just a little blonde baby. And, uh,. Yeah, as I got older, I just, like, legit became a brunette. And then, I actually have natural highlights there around this area, so you can't see those right now. Obviously, my hair is dyed. Um, let's see. I have a picture of me as a baby. Baby! I feel like I put one of these up recently, because my dad... Oh, I think I put it on Twitter. I think that's where it was. Lupine prototype. Nah, these are all garbage. I think we can take like Fiend Binder. It's like the best attacking creature here, probably. It's also awesome with our brazen wolves because it means that we're more likely to get more damage. And I had curls when I was a little. I have nothing. Eater of cheese. I also had curly hair. I had blonde curly hair. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. I know we were talking about photos as babies, but I want to show you guys this. I went to get rolled ice cream the other day, and it was insane. So he's putting them on his, like, palette right now. He's using the spatulas. 
And now that's Nutella. And now he's gonna roll it up. Hey, nerve. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. How amazing is that? Dude, it's like so good. I had it the other day for the very first time. It's here in Chicago, and it is so good. And you think it looks like, I was talking to Squirrel about this, it looks like it might be like kind of, I don't know, frosty, I guess? Oh my gosh, so good. Anyway, we took the fiend binder from that pack. Uh, here we'll just take the deranged whelp. And uh, that is how I ruined your morning by making you want ice cream. <laughs> Twitch, you're welcome. Always looking out for you. Dude, yeah, lowercase Dan, it's so good. They open a Thai ice cream place like that in Philly. Yeah, dude. Hey, Neon, how are you? We can take an alchemist greeting here. Maybe we'll find like a med profit for us to discard. But if not, this is like still fine. We can still pay five for deal four to a creature. <sighs> I know, it's way too early to be wanting ice cream like that. I know, I, I ruined you. I'm sorry. Hey. Insatiable Gorgers is fine. It might not even be white, we just have like the one fiend binder. All of this is pretty garbage. It's 4 p.m. here in a magnum. Prophet, where are you in the world? Oh, you're in England, right? Yeah. Alright, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, 4 o'clock is a good time to have some Thai ice cream or a, or a magnum. Let's take uh, Rise from the Grave. Ooh, so we could take Field Creeper, which is a card we might actually play, or we could potentially take Graph Rat and go like red black. I think Graph Rats is probably just higher upside in, at this point. I guess I'm Line Maniac pretty late, huh? But this doesn't look like a, this is a pretty aggressive deck. I don't think this is gonna be totally your dream for your I'm gonna take that Graph Rats. Ooh, all right. So we can either take Garden of Pilgrims or Dawn Griff. I think we just take the Dawn Griff. Supplicant to help with the madness. Actually, actually that's really reasonable because we have Alchemist Greeting. Good morning, Molly. How are you? We have Alchemist Greeting and Insatiable Gorgers. Mobile alerts actually work today? Wow, unreal. I didn't expect it to. I should tweet out that I'm doing this, though. All right. Also, Molly, I don't know if you saw, but we you missed us showing rolled ice cream on screen, and it was so good. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Alright, uh. Ooh, Spell Queller? Dude, that card's gotta be worth something, right? Price Spell Queller. Oh, spoiler alert, I opened Spell Queller. It's two tickets, 51 cents. Hey, Ninja! No, Ninja's already here. It's Molly saying hi to Ninja, I realize now. Uh, yeah, I think Spell Queller is no longer... It's only like a couple tickets. Might as well take something good. The last card is uh, Foil Swamp. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm buying that Thermal Alchemist. Yeah, I think I'll take the Alchemist. I mean, our other choices are Fiendbinder and Extricator of Sin. Probably just a Thermal Alchemist, I guess. Thank you, RPG Happer. Herald or Alchemist, yeah. I think you're right. Hey, we opened a Brazen Wolves here. That's pretty good. It's not an uncommon. Like, I guess we could take Drug School Shield Me, but I actually just, like, think Brazen Wolves is great. And it's very good at beating down. Uh, Brazen Wolves. Art. More Wolves. Wheelf! Yep. Yeah, this deck is looking D so far. Wow, there's no full art Brazen Wolves on here? That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I guess we'll get the Assembled Alphas art. Assembled Alphas. There you go. What? This is so small. 
Nobody could ever tell that these are wolves. Specifically not wheels. Wheels! God, this is so stupid. Why can't I find full art this? What do you think is the best color combination in this draft format? I like blue, green, and merge the best, I think. I think it's really good. Another brazen wolves? Yeah, we'll pick up all any and all the brazen wolves people want to pass us. Yeah, that's what I snapped it off too, ankle. I was just like blue green for sure. It's so good. Hey lady, good morning. Uh yeah, green white is very safe to draft. You'll always get a lot like green white is the colors and the quality of the creatures and stuff that you get from pack one to pack two and pack three, they're all good. And you'll always end up with like something semi coherent, like your deck will function, you know? <laughs> Two stags in a row. Yeah, I mean, I already passed the first stag, though, and there's a Brazen Wolves. And I took cards that I'm happy to take, so... I'm just gonna take the Brazen Wolves again. Though, there is something... Jesus, look at how open green is. I think now I just take the Borrowed Grace. Look at... There is something to be said about just... We should have maybe just pivoted into green. Triple wheels. Alright, I'm probably taking this Bard Grace and I'm gonna go wash this cup. Ride down? Hello. Hey, Damien. Good morning. How are you? Hey, Jonas. Get your hedges into Mono Brown. <laughs> yeah, that chair picked bar. Chair, chair thinks Borrowed Grace is a pretty good card. I agree with Chair. Look, Chair might have piloted that draft that we had yesterday better than we did. <laughs> to, to that great O3, O3 end. Wow. I'm gonna say brazen wolves. Brazen wolves. Brazen wolves. Assembled alphas. Wolf. Drafting wolf tribal, I guess. <laughs> Drafting wolf. Tribal, I guess. Oh, kiddo, kiss, kiss. Chair is OP. All right. Uh, what do we want from this pack? Jeez, look at the two clear shots. Ah. Yeah, we miss our shot at green. Hey, super originality. How are you? I mean, like. Wait, why did I take the Stumper of the Blood? I thought I had... Well, alright. That is not what I wanted to pick. I actually wanted to take the green card. The super late... Yeah, I wanted to take the clear shot, because I think even if we shipped infinite green, we might as well just, like... We don't have that much white. Yeah, some green player's gonna be very happy with the draft. I think we'll just take a Lunark Mantle here. We can put the Lunar Mantle on the Brazen Wolves and just kind of go ham. Ooh, Subjugator Angel is actually like super late and awesome. I know, I know better than- I think what I had, Molly, is I think I had the card selected but not reserved, which is like, great distinction, but <laughs> I think that's what happened. Uh, alright. We can take an Extricator of Sin or a Dawn Griff. We took the Subjugator Angel.
kind of think that just Dawn Griff is better for what we're doing. Thank you. The Abyss with a six, six month reason. Thank you so much, The Abyss. And everybody, can we get some Viper Love in chat? Thank you so much, Abyss, for those six months of continued support. I really appreciate it. Yeah, let's just take the Faith Bearer Paladin. Though, there's an argument for Guardian of the Pilgrims, but I think Faith Bearer Paladin is just like way better. Also, we just got past the Guardian of the Pilgrims. <laughs> Great. Um, let's blend the Reclamation or Rare Draft. La Brew to Rare Draft. What is Ankle saying? <laughs> White koala. Koala. Dude, I saw koalas when I was in Sydney. They were so cute. I wanted to take them home. This is kind of interesting. Um, we can take either Apothecary Geist or Lessons of Mountain, I think. We can take either Apothecary Guys to Inner Struggle or Dance with Devils. I suppose we could take Devil Thorn Fox. Um, or Expose Evil to tap down some of their creatures. Inner Struggle is a fine removal spell, I think. That's probably what I want to go with. Though the Dance with Devils is, like, not bad. Also, it lets us rip both Ride Down and Dance with Devils at the same time. And it plays well with our... Thermal Alchemist as well. Dude, yeah, we need to get 500. We're so far from 500 subs, it's hard. <laughs> Witching Hour got nerfed literally hours. Yeah, I'm gonna take the inner struggle. Witching Hour got nerfed literally hours after I spent all my stones crafting them. I'm sorry, Molly. That's so brutal. <laughs> That's so brutal. I'm so sorry. I mean, the good news is that they're gonna. I mean, everything's gonna get dusted when we they get out of the, when they move off of um, closed beta. So, but I hear you. No matter how tempting it is, never handle a claw without training. They have several centimeter long claws and they're very sharp. Jeez. Yeah, no, I didn't touch any. They were in the zoo. So we can take the inspiring captain, which I think is pretty good here. Or apothecary, guys. I think captain's just awesome with all of our brazen wheels. Wheels! Yeah, I'm gonna take the captain, Jonas. I agree. Wow, rattle chains? There's so many rares in this pack. Also an eerie interlude. We can probably put a true fate sensor on one of these things and just kind of go ham. I guess these are all wolves and not humans. But we do have the inspiring captain. This is a human. This is a human. Um. Oh, I think even this is a human. <laughs> this actually wears a true fate sensor, like, decently okay. I guess we could also sanguinary mage. I feel like, uh, saying on your image is not good. I feel like you sense the right pick. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the sensor. Uh, Moorland Drifter, Dog, or Gastav Arsonists, or Blood Man of Vampire. I think the Moorland Drifter is probably okay. We are Pink Time Man. Indeed, we are. You can't believe how many times you've been wrecked by True Faith Sensor. True Faith Sensor is really good. It's quite good. Alright, I'm gonna take the Moorland Drifter. I feel like Rush of Adrenaline. Oh, wait, Near Heath Chaplain? Yeah, we should just take Near Heath Chaplain. I actually like our deck. I think it turned out okay. Like, what do we cut right now? Like, we actually like all of our cards right now. Maybe the Insatiable Gorgers is, like, kind of medium. 5-3 is like a pretty mediocre body. We'd also want to cut the alchemist greeting if we could. And we don't get better removal. But I think here we take like a near his chaplain and then we replace that insatiable gorgers. Um, ooh. And here we have a choice of puncturing light or inspiring captain. Maybe we push this over here and now we're back to 
Subjugate Ranger, Faith Bearer, Inspiring Captain, Egypt, Earn Struggle, Fiend Binder, Dawn Griff, Eternal Scourge. Brazen Wolves, Brazen Wolves, Brazen Wolves, Dawn Griff, Borrowed Grace, Guardian, Lunaric Mantle, Moreland Drifter, Drained Whelp. Dude, I, yeah, I would take all the captives. The captives are awesome, and they also stack well, because you just, like, keep flipping all of them or whatever. Uh, I'm going to take the other inspiring captain. I'll take this and put it in the sideboard. Ooh, town gossip monger? We actually want that. Here we probably won't expose evil. And now we can take Lunark Mantle out. Apothecary guys, probably. Unruly mob. Actually, let's rare draft that eerie interlude. Yeah, this was a great draft. Cathar's companion. You got Brazella? To mind if we gossip? Ooh. So we have to make one cut. Yeah, this is a sweet aggro deck. We might want to take the Thermo Alchemist out. We don't have that many non creature spells. Sort. Oh, I can't sort like that yet. Ooh, I didn't mean to move something out. Like, could we move the Thermo Alchemist down? Did I move it? Yeah, Time Twister, I was just talking about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it out. At the time that we picked it up, like, it could have easily, we could have easily maybe pivoted into a deck that actually put it to some good use, but in this deck, it's clearly just, like, not what we want to do. New story is up. All right, I'm excited. I got the TLDR of the last story. I'm actually like really, I'm like behind like two or three stories now, I guess, if one came out today, which is bad. Because I used to read those like pretty closely. Thermal Alchemist is a 1-3 Vigilance Unblockable. Occasionally pings for one extra damage. It's great. Yeah, the problem though, Pink Time Man, is that I feel like we have all these like inspiring captains and stuff. So we are definitely in... Borrowed graces. So let me just see what happens if I do that. Town Gossamonger. Exposing Wolves actually good with all of our Brazen Wolves, I think. Guardian of Pilgrims, Moreland Drifter, Ride Down, Deranged Whelp, True Faith Sensor, Borrowed Grace, Dawn Griff, Dawn Griff, Wolves, 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 Eternal Scourge, Fiend Binder, Captain, Captain. Chaplain, Inner Struggle, Faith Bearer, Paladin, Subjugator, Angel, Assembled, Alphas, and Spreading Flames. This is a sweet deck. So I guess the last cut. Yeah, that's what I think so too. Otherwise, I think Pink Tire Man, I think Thermal Alchemist is just like the nut. Because it, it does technically have quote unquote unblockable. Occasionally it's like a 2 3. But I think this looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm hoping that it doesn't come down to me, like, I think I'm gonna win the game with Subjugator Angels and just, like, bashing with everybody. I hope it doesn't come down to the point where I'm like, I really hope my Thermo Alchemist gets them for, like, the last three points. <laughs> so, we have more white than we have. Nine and eight, probably. I want to evenly split, because I want to make sure I hit those Brazen Wolves on three. I feel like I have double white except for Subjugator Angel. Yeah, we might bring in the alchemist. This was pretty easy to build, actually. All right, so pretty. I think this was a pretty good beatdown deck. I think beatdown is not really where you want to be a lot of times in Eldritch Moon, but when you do, you want to have things like ride down the edicts, or sorry, the anthem effects, things like captains and a low curve, a lot of really good beatdown creatures like Brazen Wolves. So we'll see how this goes when we actually play it. Um, gonna finish the video at a heel. See you in game one.